So um, welcome to my uh, talk on constant generics. So I wanted to start by saying a little bit about me. Um, my name's Ethan Briley. Um, I'm an A-level student from um, England and I've been running Rust for around three years. I've contributed a little to constant generics itself inside the compiler, really working on just like um, some of the error messages. So sort of like surface level stuff. But it's been interesting to follow the um, feature in its development. So what I want to cover in this uh, quick talk um, is uh, the basics of the syntax basics for constant generics. I want to talk about um, why we need constant generics to make um, arrays easier to work with. I want to talk about a couple of applications of constant generics. Um, the limitations of what we have now, and then a little bit about what we can expect in the future. One thing that you may not have noticed before or thought about um, is the, uh, the fact that arrays in Rust have always been const generic. Um, they take the type for the thing that they contain and the, and the number for the length of the array. So here I have an example, a array of five strings. And we're passing in this five as a const parameter into our array type. On the bottom two snippets, I have um, arrays using a the more general const generic syntax rather than the traditional array syntax. Um, on this side, I've defined a type alias that shows the equivalence between the two. So on the right, I have um, arrays using the traditional array syntax. And on the left, I've created this alias using const generics. So it's generic over t and our length n. The const n u size bit is bringing a const variable into scope. Um, and I kind of like the term const variable because it seems like a bit of an oxymoron. How can something be constant and variable at the same time? Um, and I think the way to think about that is um, the same way you think about type parameters. They are um, variable within the context of generics because we don't know what they're going to be yet. But when we use them, everything's worked out as a concrete value um, in the monomorphization stage in the compiler. So our constants, they're constant at a point in the compiler, but before then, when they're, before they're worked out, you can think of them as variable. So it's a const variable. So one of the things that um, const generics enables us to do is to write code that works on arrays of different lengths. So being generic over all different sized arrays. And I, I think this um, begs the question, why do we want to use um, arrays? Why can't we just use vectors? Because we know the size of arrays, we can simply push them onto the stack. We don't have to allocate memory in the same way as we do with vectors. And allocation takes time, so it has a performance cost. Um, and we can also use arrays in places where we can't use vectors, um, such as embedded systems where we don't have a traditional allocator. I took this graph from um, a blog post by Adam Chalmers, and it um, just demonstrates how switching an implementation that uses a vector with one that uses an array can yield performance gains. On the left-hand side here, I have a snippet from a old copy of the standard library. And it shows how the asref trait used to be implemented for arrays of different sizes. Here where we're calling the macro, we're, pass, we're using a macro here and we're calling the macro um, at the bottom of the left side. And uh, we're passing in the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 32. Those are all of the different size arrays that we're trying to support with this implementation. On the right hand side, we have the same thing but written with const generics. As you can see on the impl, we're being generic over t, the value inside our array, and n, the length of our array. I think this code is a lot cleaner and nicer to look at than um, the cumbersome macro code. Um, it's quite hard to read. It also produces a lot nicer documentation with Rust doc, um, and it doesn't have that limitation of only working for arrays that up to length 32. 
um, I wanted to talk about this um, method coming to the standard library. It's currently um, currently unstable, um, but with uh, what's been stabilized in the last Rust release, um, it will probably be stabilized some point in the next few releases. Um, it's called array chunks, um, and it's a method on slices. That um, so here we have a, a slice of characters, and we're breaking it up into chunks of three characters. Um, I think what's particularly um, notable here is that um, our array chunks method, we're not passing in a const parameter at all. Um, it's being inferred by the compiler. It knows that we want arrays of length three because we're comparing it with arrays of length three. So I think this um, demonstrates how um, ergonomic um, our uh, APIs can be with const generics and we can use const generics without really having to interact with it that closely, it sort of can be invisible to us. In the last Rust release, um, what was stabilized was a feature called min const generics, um, which is sort of a minimum viable product for const generics. Um, a lot of things are turned off because they have quite complex implications that haven't really been worked out yet. Um, you can't use anything other than Boolean char integer types in your const parameters and you um, you can't do complex, you can't use a const parameter in a complex expression. So we can't take like the length of our array and then say add one to it um, because that has complex implications. Um, but with the, uh, the nightly compiler with unstable Rust, we can unlock a, a few features um, like the full const generics feature, const evaluatable checked, const generics defaults and some other features. Um, that unlock um, a whole set of things that um, that aren't possible with stable Rust with const generics. So um, I wanted to talk about this example I wrote um, that uses some of those um, nightly features. Um, here is a, um, a way of indexing on arrays that makes indexing out of bounds a compiler error. In the bottom left, I have um, this if enum that takes a condition as a const parameter and it implements the trait true if that condition is true. That allows us to write this um, where clause in the impl above um, that um, only implements the trait if the index is less than the length. I don't really think this is nice code. I don't think it's idiomatic Rust. I think um, this code's quite ugly, but um, I think um, it demonstrates some of the power you can get from um, um, from the unstable features. Um, there are proposals on how to do on how this might be done without the if hack, um, but um, this it just demonstrates right now what what could be possible. So I think the Const generics right now is about make writing code that's generic over arrays of different lengths. Um, but I think the future is about allowing us to write more um, safer, faster, um, and better abstractions that um, can assert more things at compile time. Um, I don't think it's likely that the average uh, Rust developer will, um, will write much const generic code, but I think um, what um, you'll find if you're when you're writing Rust, that you'll find that the, um, the the libraries and APIs you use will use const generics to give you better abstractions.